hello friends and welcome back friends as we know that we are at the last topic of research methodology for business topic number four we are going to start in this video and we are going to finish in this video as the topic is very small friends the topic which we are discussing today is writing of research report or writing a research report as we know that when we go for a project or a research we need to complete a number of things as we know that we have started or we start a research project from stating the statement of problem then accordingly we go for objectives of the research similarly we, we go for hypothesis of the research also so we do a number of things accordingly we select uh, the methods of data collection we select the data or we collect the data we analyze the data we draw some conclusion we draw findings and suggestion and so on so we do a number of things while conducting our research or while conducting our project once the uh, these things are over then the last work is left which is called as writing a research report whatever work we guys have done that we are going to you know write in a precise manner and when that can be written it is called as a writing a research report so there are a number of things which we are discussing in this video and we are talking about how the research report can be written there are different methods there are different ways of writing research report but there is one particular systematic method of writing the research report when we go for completion of our research work so when as a researcher when we complete all these aspects of research then the last part, part which is left which is called as writing a research report whatever we guys have analyzed whatever we guys have you know uh, found during our uh, research we try to sum up we try to write in a summary format so that summary format is called as research report or that is called as research report so how that research report is written that may be the question in the mind of you guys and we are discussing about all those things in this today's lecture so as the topic uh, last topic talks about two different aspects and uh, these two different aspects are number one is a research report how the research report is written and the second part is citation and referencing whenever you go for a research report you need to uh, give some references you write something as called which is called as citation so that is also an ad, another part of this particular lecture and we are going to talk about that one also so in this first lecture as there are two different videos for this particular topic and that is number four as far your as far as your your syllabus is concerned and the last topic of your syllabus is uh, that is uh, you know research report writing and certain aspects regarding research report writing which we are going to discuss as our subject is research methodology for business we are talking about this last four topic i as we know that topic one topic two and topic three all these topics are over and we have gone through all those aspects one by one now we are at the last stage last topic of your rmb which is called as research methodology for business and in this topic we are talking about how to write a research report as i told you earlier or as i told you just now research report or writing writing a research report is a skill most of the people they complete the research they go for the research they you know do everything for the research but they are not able to write a research report this is what i told you writing a research report is a part of skill most of the people they do not write a research report in a particular manner and when they do not write a research in a particular manner whatever research they have done will be you know no meaning as such so if you want to create a meaning of your research work done by yourself then you need to write a research report in a precise and a particular manner and this is what this particular video is deserved for so in this video we are going to understand how the research report is written what are the criteria what are the different components of research report as we know that there are different components of, uh, components of research report writing as uh, we know that when it uh, comes to the total number of research report there are seven components of research report writing and all those components we are discussing in today's session without fail so friends once again i welcome back and i welcome you all for this video and i request you all to watch this video till end 
so that you can understand what are the components of your research report that we need to understand that we need to take care at the time of writing research report i hope you will understand what i mean to say so starting with without wasting your time and here we are talking about uh, something different just look at this in this slide i have given a brief idea how the research report can be written whenever you think about a type of research report this particular report or any type of uh, research report include these kind of things as i told you there are seven components basically there are seven components of research report we go for we or we come across whenever we are there to write a research report that particular research report includes a number of things or includes seven components so what are those seven components those seven components are noted down here for the purpose of better understanding i have written all those seven components one by one so just go through those seven components and try to understand which are those seven components which are the part of part and parcel of a research report so just look at the first one the first one is abstract or summary abstract or summary means what whatever you guys have done that we are going to write in a summarized format in a summary format in an abstract format so that is called as first one is abstract we are going to see each and every component one by one in a precise manner just names are mentioned here and i'm going to talk about those names first of all so the second one is introduction Sec third one is review of literature then methods then results then conclusion and discussion and the last and the important part that is the references so basically when it comes to uh, as we guys have seen different types of uh, research and uh, as we have gone through three major types of research such as qualitative research quantitative research and combined research so whatever components i'm discussing now those components are applicable for qualitative as well as combined type of research but these components are not applicable for, for quantitative research it is applicable for mixed one no doubt at all it is also applicable for qualitative research so i'm talking about the same components which are applicable for qualitative research as well as combined research combined means what both the things are included which are the qualitative plus quantitative so this is the part of our discussion and here whatever seven components i'm discussing those seven components are applicable for qualitative as well as quantitative research so friends sorry qualitative as well as combined research so friends those seven components once again i'm um, you know repeating here and those seven components are abstract or summary introduction review of literature methods results conclusions and a discussion and the last one references so we are going to see all these seven points one by one in upcoming part of this video so whenever you want to write a research report as a part of you know those seven points or those seven components you need to write your research report in this manner so whatever research report you are writing what your project report you are writing your project report or research report should include these seven points starting from the abstract or summary to the end that is references i hope you guys have understood the seven different components of research report and whenever you are there to write a report this this way you guys have to write your report or in your research report these points should be included and then only it will be called as a research report if you are going to miss a single point then we cannot say your research report is perfect one so this is a way of writing a research report just now we have taken an idea about those seven components of research report now we are going to see the first component that is research report writing here i am giving certain ideas about those seven points and look at the first one as i told you the first important component of a uh, component of research report writing is abstract or summary so what is this abstract what is this summary see the name abstract is similar to summary summary means what as we know that i will give you one example here we watch a movie of 3 hours we watch a movie of 2 hours or 2.5 hours and 
we explain that movie or we summarize that movie and we tell the story of that movie to our friends in a 5 or 10 minutes so this is called as what abstract this is called a summary remember so when you are write a summary of your research for example you guys have done a research of 300 pages your research the size of your research is 300 pages but you are not going to talk about those 300 pages you are going to summarize those 300 pages in one or two page and when it is done it is called as abstract or summary so whenever you are there to write an abstract or a summary of your research it should be written in a very nice manner nice manner means what you need to write you need to include each and every aspect of your research in a summary format this is what i told you we watch we watch a movie of 3 hours but we tell the story of that 3 hours 3 hours movie in 5 or 10 minutes so telling a story in 5 or 10 minutes is called what briefing about a summary similarly we guys have to go for it and there are certain parameters there are certain things that we need to remember at the time of writing a summary at the time of writing an abstract so what are those things the abstract or summary tells the reader very briefly what the main points and findings of the paper or the project so abstract or summary is nothing but what we are trying to tell the reader those who are going to read our paper our project our research in a very brief manner about what we are going to talk about findings and results and suggestions that we are giving even we are talking about or we will talk about conclusion of your research and this is what summary is must so summary should include these points this allows the reader to decide whether the paper is useful for them or not whatever research you are writing you are you know um, doing whether that it is useful or not that you can tell in the summary that you can tell in the abstract then get into the habit of reading only abstracts while searching for project papers and research theses whenever you go for you know searching some papers which are applicable for your research you when you whenever you are going for searching uh, theses for your research whenever you are going for searching uh projects for your projects purpose then you need to find out some abstract only and from the abstract only you can understand what can be done and what are the ways of doing it read the body of paper of a paper only when you think it will be useful and whenever you feel that the entire um, paper entire project entire research is useful for you then you can go for it as a part of full thesis or full research so friends what i want to tell you here whenever you want to go for an abstract or a summary you need to summarize you need to write in a brief you need to write the summary of your research of your project in a brief manner and this writing a summary is called as what a writing an abstract or a summary this is what the summary belongs to i hope you guys have understood what i mean to say so friends in this one what we guys have seen that i'm going to tell you here so it is nothing but what writing a research report so the first component of writing a research report we guys have seen and that is none other than abstract or or, or a summary so here we guys have seen how to write an abstract even we guys have seen how to write an a summary summary is nothing but what writing something in a brief manner about your project about your research about your research paper this is called as what a summary or an abstract i hope you guys have understood the concept of research or abstract writing or summary writing so now here is an example of how the abstract can be written so from uh, by looking at this particular slide you can understand how the abstract is written or the summary is written for example i have taken this one actually this one is a paper written by one scientist and here he has written an abstract so look at the abstract the size of abstract is only one paragraph and in this paragraph he has written everything about the or he has written in a brief manner about the research what he has conducted the title of paper he has completed so the title of the paper is what which kids can become scientist effects of gender self concept and perceptions of scientist so this one is the paper and for this particular paper or for this entire research he has written the summary in a brief manner and if you look at the size of the summary it is none other than or not more than one paragraph 
and when it is written it is called as an abstract or a summary so this is for abstract i from i, I hope from this example you have understood what is an abstract and how the summary can be written now the second aspect we are talking about here a research report has seven components as we know that the second component is introduction once you complete with the first component that is abstract or summary the second component is uh, there that is called as what introduction so whatever is your title whatever is your topic of research or project you need to write the introduction of that topic you need to write the introduction of that particular project or the title of your project so this one is the second component of your uh, writing a research report or research report and in this second component we are talking about how the introduction is written so there are certain things that we need to remember while writing introduction so how the introduction is written look at this the introduction tells the reader what the topic of the paper or the project or the research is in general term why the topic is important and what to expect in the paper so introduction is nothing but what introduction is going to talk about why the research is important why the project is important and uh that why this topic is also important and that we can get or this kind of idea we can get into uh, this kind of idea readers can get by looking at the introduction and this is what the introduction is most important aspect and it can be done now the second one that i am going to tell you introduction should be uh, funnel from general idea to the specific topic of the paper see it should be different it should be from the different idea it should belongs to general idea of the introduction then introductions are sometimes folded into literature reviews whatever introduction you want to give that should be folded in literature review so this is introduction so why what we write in introduction we write n number of things about the introduction in this particular one so here what do we expect we expect certain things importance of topic why this topic is important how this topic is differ from the general concept and all all those things are expected here in the second component of research report writing i hope you guys have understood what i mean to say and this one is the second uh, component of research report writing i hope you guys have understood so now after this we are going to talk about the third or we can see the introduction how the introduction can be written here is one example that i have taken for the purpose of better understanding and from this you can understand how the introduction part or introductory part is written so this one is just an idea and from that you can understand how it can be written in a very brief manner now moving on to the third and important aspect of research report writing and the, that third and important aspect is review of literature what do you mean by review of literature we guys have seen while going through the literature review topic so here whenever you want to go for a research or a project or a research paper you need to understand in the past if such kind of work is conducted if such kind of work is done by the researcher or not and if you want to find out that you need to go for the research or uh, literature review so in literature review what we do we go to find out whether the topic or similar topics are already conducted or, or is already done by the researcher or not if it is conducted then what are the new things that i can do or if they have done what sort of work they have done what sort of aspects they have con, uh, you know con considered all those things we can consider here in case of this literature review so literature review is nothing but what going into the past or going into the you know flashback and see what sort of work is already conducted by the researcher and what sort of scope is there for we people to complete the research or to undertake the research so this is what this is very much important as we know that literature review is the most important aspect and most important component in the process of research report writing why it is called as most important aspect because from literature review we can understand the scope of our research from a literature review we can understand what can be done and what cannot be done and if you want to get that an idea that idea about your literature uh, about your research then literature review is the most important aspect it shapes your you know it shapes your 
टॉपिक इट शेप्स योर डिस्कशन इट शेप्स योर रिसर्च आउटकम्स ऑल्सो एंड दिस इज वॉट लिटरेचर रिव्यू इज द मोस्ट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ राइटिंग अ रिसर्च रिपोर्ट आई होप यू गैज अंडरस्टूड वॉट आई मीन टू सी एंड फ्रॉम हियर और फ्रॉम एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट नाउ वी हैव डन विद द कॉन्फोनेंट नंबर थ्री एंड दैट कॉन्फोनेंट नंबर थ्री इज रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर फ्रेंड्स लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर इज द मोस्ट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ योर रिसर्च इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंप्लीट योर रिसर्च रिपोर्ट विदाउट द रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर वी कैन नॉट कंप्लीट इट and this is what it is the most an important aspect of report writing i hope you have understood the importance of literature review in research report writing next the next one uh, here also we have taken some example why it is important one and why it is not uh, you know uh, why it is compulsory one while going for the next one here also same things we have discussed here also same things we have discussed and here are certain examples of uh, writing a literature review suppose you were taking something from somebody's research or somebody's um, project then it can be cited like this it can be shown like this so here is one example of writing a research literature review go through this one and uh, try to understand what i mean to say here then again uh, certain things i have taken here for the purpose of better understanding i request you all to go through all those things whatever i have taken here whatever i have noted down here i hope you guys are understanding what i mean to see and uh, accordingly we are going ahead without fail so this is the part of literature review and uh, and as i told you literature review is the most an important aspect in the process of research without fail so this is again a part of what whenever as i told you there are two different types of research we basically conduct in our day to day life the first one is qualitative research and second one is quantitative research so in terms of qualitative research how the literature review literature review is written and how the literature review is written for qualitative research both things i have shown here so here is an example of writing a literature review and by looking at this uh, looking at uh, this example you may understand how to write a review of literature for the purpose of your study the next one and the most important aspect of writing a research report is methods see basically uh, as we know that uh, whenever you want to go for um, you want to go for research there are different types of research basically uh, we go for two types of research and uh, the methods of research are also uh, there uh, so in the method of research we include two types of methods descriptions of data and analysis of data so see here as far as the methods are concerned methods section must contain description of data how the data is talked about think in terms of what who what when where why and how then you need to think about target population then you need to go for the way data were collected so here in topic number 4 or component number 4 we are talking about the research methodology so methodology includes n number of things the design you are choosing for your research the way you are collecting your data the way you are you know framing your sampling and sample size and so on so here n number of things we consider if you are collecting the data so how the data is collected whether through the primary sources or secondary sources then if you want to go for sampling how the sampling is done what will be the sample size what are the respondents what will be the respondents how the how the data will be collected so n number of things are there so many things are there and we discuss all those things which are the part and parcel of research methodology and that is there in topic number or component number 4 and that component number num, component number 4 is what methods so in methods we talk about research methodology i hope you guys have understood what i mean to say so methodology is also or we'll also talk about descriptions of variables as we know that um, there are two types of variables we always talked about variable number 1 is independent variable variable number 2 is dependent variable so what sort of variables you are used whether those are independent or dependent all those things are there 
in terms of what methods or description of variables and all so this method includes variables also then method includes um, manipulation of the variable data so n number of things are there as far as variables are concerned or the methods are concerned as i told you method includes n number of things it includes the entire it includes the entire research methodology that we are using for the purpose of project for the purpose of project for the purpose of research and all so here in method method is not a narrow concept method means what a research methodology that you are using for your uh, research your project so that is called as method as far as method is concerned so if you look at the example here i have given the example how it can be done and uh, by looking at this example you may understand what method includes exactly then the second and the last uh, so the next part or the next component of uh, research report writing is results remember what i am talking about the next and the important part results is nothing but what the way we are writing our findings the way we are suggesting the way we are concluding so results includes the way we are collecting the data once the data is collected we analyze the data and after the analysis analysis of the data we go for writing the results how the results are written results are written in the form of findings and on the basis of findings we write suggestions and at the end on the basis of findings even on the basis of suggestions we write a conclusion so results include three major aspects in a chronological order what are those things findings suggestions and conclusion so result is nothing but what whatever research you guys have done result is the outcome is the final outcome of your research which you guys have conducted and that is called as what results in a simple manner so this one is the most and important component of research report and this component is called as component number 5 i hope you guys have understood what i mean to say so results includes n number of things here we can show something in the form of statistical data by using tables descriptive tables and inferential statistics also then we try to narrate whatever we want to show as outcome in terms of findings on the basis of findings we write or we provide suggestions in which are useful for all those things so this is called as what writing a research report even in results what we do we go for evaluation of analysis uh, hypothesis whatever hypothesis we guys have you know framed at the time of conducting the research we can find out whether those hypothesis are tested or not whether those hypothesis are uh, accepted or rejected that we can find out by looking at the by looking at the research report or by looking at the results so result is nothing but what result is a simple term that we use to show the results or the outcomes that we guys have acquired we guys have earned through the part of research i hope you guys have understood what i mean to say as far as the component number 5 that is result is concerned so here are the results results are there in terms of what statistical data here we have made certain types of uh, kind of things and from that you can understand how the results are there the results are generated which can be called as result of the study and those are there in statistical form in table number 2 then the next and important aspect of your research report writing is conclusion and discussion at the end when we want to conclude our research report writing we go for conclusion and discussion so whatever i think outcomes we are trying to show to the concern or to the reader that we try to write in the form of conclusion so we do n number of things for the completion of research we do n number of you know analysis we go for collection of data we go for analysis of data then accordingly we try to write the findings and whenever we come to the last or the second last point of the component or the component that is conclusion and discussion so here we talk about the conclusion and once the conclusion we write then that conclusion will be open for the discussion so this way we write this particular part which is called as conclusion and discussion and from that we can understand how the conclusion is written and how the discussion is made on that 
so once we write the conclusion then then it will be open for the discussion for the research scholars they may give their comment about your conclusion and they may also accept sometimes they accept your conclusion sometimes they deny your conclusion whatever you have concluded so it is up to the readers up to the research scholars whether to accept your conclusion or not so this is for component number 6 that is called as what conclusions and discussion so again the same things uh, you know we can also understand the same things by looking at this number now the last and important aspect of um, report that is references we guys have done <coughs> everything <laughs> with the research or the project from point number one or confront number one to confront number six so here in confront uh, confront number seven whatever help we have taken whatever references we have referred whatever uh, you know websites whatever books we have referred for the purpose of research those we are going to write here so here in references we are trying to give each and every reference we come across while doing or while conducting while doing our research so those can be called as references those are the part and parcel of references so this is the reference i mean to say so in reference we write everything so the references are just an, as important as any other part of your paper or project or research they are the link of the community of scholar that you uh, that will permit your reader to access the worthiness of the claims you make in your paper project or research references also make the research process much more efficient because they make it very easy to look up sources of facts and ideas so why references are important references make your research rich and it will enrich your research this is what references are must how many books internet uh, you know material you have referred it shows that how rich your research or project is this is what try to go for more more and more references uh, while conducting your or while undertaking your research and research activity so references has a very important role in writing the research report and from this you can understand how it can be written so look at this how the references can be written so there are different components of references what we can write we can go for articles we can go for books then we can go for websites also we can go for and this way the references are written if you look at the references how the references can be written here one example i have taken here and from that example you can understand the way of writing references as i told you there are different styles of writing references that we are going to see in the another video so here we have taken one example how the references can be written and how it is important to write the references in your research report so this one is an example and from this example we can understand how it can be done so there are some general points I would like to tell you about research report writing and those general points are make accurate sociological claims in your papers or research or project stake out positions a kind of I think I have the neighbor to the ish, this issue position whenever you are going to write a claim in your project or research try to make a sociological accurate claim in your project in your research in your you know paper also cite facts of facts to support your sociological claims if you are claiming uh, if you are going for claiming sociological claim then give proper facts with the help of some supports of citations if you can use theories to support your sociological claims then every declaration or fact claim must be cited or overtly posed as speculation if you are giving something if you are going to declare something then fact claim or if you are going to fact the claim then citation is the most important aspect you need to say something on the basis of certain so supporting citation is also expected here then anticipate your readers questions as you write whenever you write your research report you think about the anticipated questions which are there from the readers end help the readers understand why your topic is important demonstrate to the reader that you are adequately investigated your topic so ask your readers that whatever research or you know project you have done that is adequate that is enough to understand or to get the answer of their question 
help them anticipate what you will say next everything you say should seem reasonable to say and the last one while writing keep thinking the point is to number one establish hypothesis go for hypothesis describe how to test the hypothesis give results of test and discuss what the reader should believe about the world so n number of things that are there are there are there that you need to remember at the time of writing research report so i talked about seven different important components of research report even i talked about some general guidelines general points that we need to take care at the time of writing research report i hope you guys understood what i mean to say in this video so friends in this video we guys have talked about how to write a research report and what are the different elements different components different factors which can be considered at the time of uh, writing research report and i hope whatever i have told you in this video you guys have thoroughly understood this and uh, hoping for the next one so here we have done one small part of topic number 4 and i hope we guys have or you guys have understood whatever i taught you in this video so in this after this we are going to see one more till then uh, if you like you people have really liked my video don't forget to like share and uh, comment about the video even if you are new in my channel uh, on academic insights don't forget to subscribe my channel even press the bell icon so that you'll get these kind of videos in future also so only this much for this video another part we are going to see in next video till then all the best thank you very much bye bye